What's up everybody? Welcome to Dice House and our DCO commentary. I'm bringing this very quick video here today to show you the last boss fight in A&B, how we do it and everything, uh, to make it easier on ourselves. Um, first of all, of course, you know, you see you take down the batteries and everything, but I also want to talk about my ranged rage DPS loadout. That's right. <laughs> I gotta say it slow because I always mess it up. Um, we should take a look at my loadout bar there. I've got channeled hate. I don't really use channel hate that much unless, uh, the Trollers are having a hard time keeping um, power out to everybody, so I just use that to keep a burn going until I get some more power back. Uh, I use plasma wretch there. Um, I usually jump cancel that. That puts out the uh, plasma burn PI. Um, helps do extra damage with some of your other powers, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Bloodlust. Uh, it is a group buff of yourself and three other members that will raise your pre their precision and their crit chance. Um, works very good. It's something that a lot of celestial users out there love to see us use. Um, <laughs> uh, Dreadful Blast. This is by far your go-to DPS power right here. You want to make sure you have Plasma Burn on it to get that extra damage out there. And you want to make sure you combo it into Dreadful uh, Explosion. Dreadful Explosion does a lot of precision damage, as you can see here in the video. I would end up hitting, like, freaking Hank and Sinestro for, like, 6k each with it when I'm, like, buffed up. So you definitely want to make sure you're using that. Uh, Eviscerating Chain is at 35% you're for 35 and all that. They're below 35%. You will do extra damage to them. You definitely want to make sure you use that. Um, when they're below 35%, it hits hard. It hits hard. And you can combo it into Eviscerate. Um, however, you need to be in, like, close to mid-range in order for that uh, second, that combo power to hit. And deal a lot of precision damage on them. And then I use Infuriated uh, for my supercharge. It is a uh, group, uh, yourself and up to three members, uh, buff for their crit chance and crit damage. And also provides a little bit of heal for any damage that you get coming back in. Anyways, um, that is it for my DPS loadout. And make sure you uh, go ahead you know, you pop your trinket, clip it with Bloodlust. Hit Plasma Wretch, Jump Cancel. You can pop a couple of those Dreadful Blasts and Dreadful Explosions before that PI burn goes down. I know a lot of people are wondering why I'm not using the pool and all that. Frankly, I use Plasma Wretch because, one, it's ranged, all right? And, two, uh, there's a lot of other D uh, Rage DPS out there that are using that pool. And the uh, PIs don't cancel out if you're using Plasma Wretch and they're using the Blood Pool. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's basically why we had another uh, Rage DPS in here. Me and him had figured it all out and everything. He said he'll use the pool and I'll use the freaking Plasma Wretch. We're all good to go. We're keeping, we're both keeping our PIs out there without canceling each other out. So it was kind of uh, worked out there. That's what we call teamwork, baby. Yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know it's been, I'm a little bit slow on getting this video out here. But I wanted to show you guys. Uh, what I'm doing with my with my rage power so far. I'm loving the tanking. I've got an epic epic video to show you guys here that I'm going to talk about rage DPS and tank um, a little bit more. Plus, I'm going to show you guys. I want to show you guys a little bit more, a little bit how uh, useful armories are for everybody in the game. Anyways, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys all take care. Bye.